I got to thinking about faucets and mixing hot and cold water. In this problem, hot and cold water is mixed. We want to find the formula for the temperature final and how many parts of hot water is needed for one part cold water. We are given the displayed values for divins. It's important to use the absolute temperature units of Kelvin or Rankine. I have also listed a key with all of the terms for your reference. We will be assuming energy is conserved, or in other words, all energy is going into this heat transfer. How do we go about solving this one? Well, being the energy is conserved, the initial energy must equal the final energy. So the specific heat of water times temperature one times mass one plus the specific heat of water times temperature two times mass two is the energy in the initial state. This can be set equal to the final energy state, which is the specific heat of water times temperature final times the sum of mass one and mass two. Now we need to get temperature final to one side of the equation. First, we notice that specific heat is on either side of the equation, so it can be canceled out and removed. Next, we need to divide both sides by mass one plus mass two. Now we have temperature final to one side. Plugging in our divins, we get a temperature final of 311 degrees Kelvin. Now we want to find the formula for how many parts of hot water are needed for one part of cold water. We will start with the energy formula without the specific heat of water. Then we will plug in one for where the cold water mass is, which designates it as one part of cold water. And we want to work to get mass two to one side of this equation. We can multiply this equation to get it to a simpler form that we can reduce. Then we can subtract temperature one from both sides of the equation. Next, we can get all values tied to mass two to one side of the equation. Then we can factor out mass two. Finally, we'll divide both sides by temperature two minus temperature final. We're left with this displayed equation, which is equal to mass two. Plugging in our divins, we're left that we'll need 1.5 times the mass of cold water, of hot water, to get the desired temperature of 311 degrees Kelvin. We can then plug our mass of two kilograms for mass one into this equation, and we get that we need three kilograms of hot water in order to get the right temperature. So all the math works out correctly. You could shortcut this to answer, but this method was just used to find the formula. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.